sudden cardiac death in athletes. The heart is a muscular organ about the size of a closed fist that function as the body circulatory pump. The heart is divided into four chambers. The two upper chambers are called atria and the bottom two chambers are called the ventricles. The interventricular septum separates the left ventricle from the right ventricle. The blood returns from the entire body deoxygenated and enters the heart through the right atrium. Then it passes to the right ventricle where it's pumped through the pulmonary artery to the lungs to become loaded with oxygen. The oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium and then passes down into the left ventricle where it's bumped back into the circulation through the aorta. Many conditions may lead to sudden cardiac death. One of them is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Another one, commotio cordis. The patient may have a coronary artery disease, myocarditis or others. The hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a disease of the heart muscle that leads to its abnormal thickening. You can see here it's abnormal thickening of the septum. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is the most common cause of cardiac sudden death in athletes. It is the most common genetic heart malformation in athletes, affecting one over 500 individuals. This abnormal thickening of the heart muscle occurs due to an autosomal dominant genetic abnormality of the muscle cell proteins. Asymmetrical thickening of the interventricular septum may lead to a condition known as hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy, which may lead to intermittent cardiac outflow obstruction, which may ultimately cause sudden cardiac death. The abnormal systolic anterior motion, SAM, of the mitral valve leaflet exacerbated by exercise may lead to aortic obstruction and sudden death. The blood flow to the aorta is obstructed. Increased heart rate during exercise lead to decreased filling of the left ventricle with blood. This leads to a narrower left ventricular chamber that may increase the chances of aortic obstruction. Therefore, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is an absolute contraindication to vigorous exercises. Presentation. Most of the time, patients are asymptomatic and the condition is found incidentally during a regular physical examination. Thorough history taking is one of the most important parts of the exam. Some patients may present with one or more of the following symptoms. Dyspnea on exertion, angina, chest pain, palpitation, syncope, positive family history. The patient may present with sudden cardiac death. Cardiac auscultation may reveal an ejection systolic murmur that's best heard at the left parasternal edge and it increases in intensity with maneuvers such as decreased left ventricular venous return with standing abruptly or performing the Valsalva maneuver. How do you investigate that? You get an echo. The echo is the study of choice. What is the prognosis? The majority of patients have normal life expectancy. However, Risk assessment for the development of sudden cardiac death should be performed. Patients with a high risk of developing sudden cardiac death may benefit from implantation of a defibrillator. Treatment. Vigorous exercise should be avoided in these patients. 
genetic testing and physical screening for the family members. Symptomatic patients are treated medically first in order to control their symptoms. Surgical intervention, including septal ablation and surgical myomectomy, are indicated only after failure of all drug therapies to control the patient's symptoms. Comatio cordis, a sudden death of a healthy individual with no underlying cardiac disease due to ventricular fibrillation following a blunt non-penetrating blow to the precordial area of the chest. Sports with a higher risk of commutio cordis include baseball, hockey, lacrosse, cricket, rugby, boxing, karate, and other martial arts. The chances of developing commutio cordis are influenced by the following factors. High energy impact the site of impact in the anterior chest wall over the heart. Timing of the impact relative to the cardiac cycle. The risk of commotio cordis increases when the impact coincides with the first 10 to 30 milliseconds of the ascending phase of the T wave. Treatment. Most cases are fatal. Defibrillation should be started as soon as possible, preferably within the first three minutes. Players should be advised to wear proper protective gear and to avoid blocking balls or bucks with their chest. Furthermore, the presence of automated external defibrillators at sporting events and training grounds have been shown to decrease the mortality rate with Comatio Cordes. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.